Right, my name's James and I paint miniatures. This is Spoon 37 Minis. Okay, so last time you saw the glass, I had fully painted all of the skin tones and they're done. Now to move on to painting the pants with the Army Painter Uniform Grey as its base colour. I'm going for quite a light grey on these, the box art is black, but I'm going for a slightly different colour scheme with light grey pants and I'll probably be doing orange armour panels to go with it for more of a kind of uh, prison, penal colony type look. As ever, thin your paints with lots of water to get them to flow off the brush nicely. I'm using a Games Workshop uh, layer brush, but this is the Artificia layer brush the, in the S size. I find that this one will get into all of the tight spaces, but actually holds a lot more paint than the standard S layer brush, so it's worth using for this. Because as you can see, there's a lot of area to cover as we are base coating. As I paint this, you'll notice that I'm being extremely careful around the edges of already painted surfaces, but as soon as I have a big area, say such as the side of the leg to paint, I'm being a lot less careful. Now obviously I can possibly get grey paint in areas where it's not wanted, but hopefully I will avoid that for the most part. This, this is the thing with my painting method where you fully paint an area of the model and then you move on and fully paint the next part, you've got to be very careful about not letting the paint go into areas that are on already painted surfaces. If it's something like the straps on the back of the boots, you don't need to worry so much because you're going to paint them a different colour later on, but for anything, say, that's supposed to be silver and is silver at the moment, you want to leave them as they are. This is where it starts to get tricky. I'm having to rotate it quite oddly just to get to the sort of inside of the leg, and then he's got these sort of stick arms kind of in the way for what we're trying to do here. So I'm just going to try and get brush in as far as I reasonably can, get the grey on every bit that I can see, and then if I miss a bit that I can't see, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Also taking care to get a bit of paint under the armor panel on his leg the armor panel is actually glued on but when you look at it from all angles you can actually see a little bit underneath the armor panel from the front and the rear so you've got to make sure to get paint under there otherwise you can have the, the color of the pants and then a mysterious sort of black bit where it's just primer I'm just trying to eliminate as much of that as I can again a bit like the inside of the other leg if I miss a little bit, fair enough, I just don't want to miss all of it. cleaning the brush so that it doesn't have any paint dried onto it. I think I've got a bit of paint on one of the stick bombs here so I'm just wiping it away with a relatively clean brush and then I can move on to painting the other areas. When I move on to the backs of the boots there is actually what looks like uh, cloth showing through so I'm assuming that's part of the pants and then the straps go over that. So. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing when I get there. Ok, 
Okay, so here we go, working on the thin sections. What you find is there's sections of cloth, and then there's like leather straps over those. And so the straps will be painted a different color later, so I don't mind going over the edges there. I just don't want to go over the edges of the parts that have been dry brushed with lead belcher. So you'll find I'm being careful on some areas and not so much on others. So part of it's quick, and um, part of it I have to take a lot more care and attention to detail over. Now you may notice as I'm painting this, the paint is quite watered down and it runs off into the recesses fairly easily, but it does mean any peaks are not as covered uh, some of the rest of the model or some of the other colors I should say uh, so you may want to come back in or I will be coming back in with a second coat of the same uniform grey just to go over them and make sure that we have proper coverage now here I've just noticed a bit that I've missed so I'm just doing that that's why I tend to turn the model around all kind of angles just to see if I've missed a bit Now moving on, we have the Goliath Gang Boss. Same idea, but this is a much more open pose. So it's a lot easier to get to his legs. He still has an armor plate on the right leg and he has this sort of mask and patch thing going on on the other leg, but the pose and the weapon and so on don't cover anything up. So it's actually a bit easier to paint this one despite being the gang leader. The principle is exactly the same, we're just base coating, we'll do this thin coat and then we'll let that dry and then we'll get on to a second coat a bit later on. Now I'm working in exactly the same pattern as before, I'm trying to show this to the camera uh, but I'm just trying to avoid going over the edges of things like the armor plates and the tops of the boots which as far as I'm concerned are already painted. They might get highlighted a little but it's just it's a big time saver if I don't have to go and do the lead belcher stage again every time I paint an extra color. So same again I do all the way around the one leg, all the way around the other and then the backs of the boots. That's why I'm also having to be careful because he actually has a kind of, I don't know what you call it, spiky jock strap type of thing going on. Uh, so that actually has to remain looking like metal and then two separate legs are obviously meant to be this grey fabric. So when I say you paint the legs separately I really mean you paint both legs separately. I'm not sure why, but I did find the area around the back of the knee joints on this one compared to all of the other gangas seemed difficult. So if you see me taking a bit more time over this area, that's the reason why it seems to have more of a kind of step built in. I'm not sure if the idea is that the, the leader is somehow more muscular or has a slightly different pose or I'm not quite sure what it is, but there just seem to be a bit more detail at the back of the knee and around the tops of the boots so I'm just having to be very careful and check it from all angles just to make sure that I've got paint on all the relevant bits of, uh, sort of pants fabric. Now again just like the Ganga before with the shotgun, we just have to do these bits around the backs of the boot. Again, because the pose is a little more open, it's actually 
wide a bit easier to get into these so although the knees above were quite tricky the areas between the straps is quite easy he says painting over the straps well done Sorry that you can't see what I'm painting at the minute, I just have to rotate the, uh, the paint holder so I can actually see what I'm doing. You know, I try to show it to the camera as much as possible, but I sometimes catch myself just being like, oh wait, the camera can't see this, and of course I've already painted the part, so unfortunately I can't take it back and repaint it again. Right, just checking the model, that seems to be largely done, I've done maybe one or two little bits. Checking, making sure it all has a coat of paint on it. Right, now that those are done, we're going to let them dry, and you'll see once they're dry, the coverage actually isn't very good. You can see little black bits, particularly on the peaks, so what we're going to do, I've let that dry, some time has passed, usually about an hour. Uh, now I'm going to come back in with exactly the same paint, exactly the same thickness, as in it's quite thinned down, and I'm just going to go over it again with the same brush. So when I say two thin coats, I'm being quite literal, it is two thin coats, exactly the same. trick with the second coat is to coat it exactly where you did before and of course whilst it should be obvious which bits have wet paint and which don't because of course the wet paint is shiny occasionally you will miss you know tiny areas uh, tiny details you missed before because of course they're no longer a different color if you haven't painted them um, that may not matter depending on where they are but I usually try and catch everything if I can it's just one of those things occasionally I'll come back to it later and be like, oh, I missed a bit, I'll have to do that before I do anything else. Okay, I'm just flipping the holder upside down so that I can get to the inside of the leg. I don't think the coverage here was quite as good as I thought from the last time, so I'm just making sure to get paints on it. Sometimes with these second coats, you may go over a bit that you genuinely miss the first time. Now, of course, again, it depends where it is. If it's on the inside of the leg there where you can't really see it, it'll probably be fine. If you think it is somewhere that shows, wait until this is dry and then go over it again so every part has a second coat on it for that nice, consistent colour. exactly the same work order so we've done the legs uh, done sort of the inside of the legs and now I'm just doing these areas out the back of the boots where I think it's actually more of a shoe with a kind of shin pad at the front so the trousers or pants actually show through at the back where the shin pads are strapped on so you just go over these make sure you've got good coverage without going over the edges of the armor or the boots that are as I say at least in terms of the edges already painted Now obviously this guy has grey pants but as you saw in the still picture the coverage isn't very good so we're just going to have to go over it exactly the same pattern, the same order of things just being sure to get another thin coat all over the pants and that way there'll be this nice uniform grey colour it's actually quite uh, staggering the difference it makes I'll show you a picture at the end where it has much much better coverage 
um, when I posted this on Instagram where I showed the difference between one coat and two, people were commenting to the effect of like, wow, I can't believe that grey. Well, it's just two thin coats of paint. It's not actually that difficult to achieve. So as long as you pick your grey and use two thin coats like I'm doing, you can achieve exactly the same solid colour. I'm making a particular point of going over the uh, sort of folds of the pants. That's because, of course, it's very easy to hit the peaks, but it's much more difficult to hit the sort of inside of the creases of the pants. And so you've just got to be careful to do that and actually get the paint right in there rather than, you know, just sort of skipping the peaks. Now, as you did see in the still picture, the peaks were the worst hit areas, so that might be okay. You might get away with it. I just think when I'm highlighting later on, I'll find bits that need doing with the base colour and that'll frustrate me because I'm now supposed to be working in a lighter colour. towards the end of this one just doing the bits at the back of the boots because he's got one leg forward I have to do part of it from the front rather than the back because otherwise you're inclined to do kind of it's like a semi-circular shape and you're inclined to only do like a quarter circle from the back and then you have to do the rest from the front but as long as you bear that in mind it's not that difficult to do and then just two thin coats there will make this area look good as well some photos off my phone so I'm hoping once this is done I can show you the finished appearance and you should be able to see that the coverage even though it's just a base colour is much better with the second coat. So here we go that's okay it's slightly yellow light but that's good coverage. Right if you stuck with it this far firstly thank you thank you for watching if you did actually like the video hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell shaped icon so you get notifications telling you when the next video will be out. I hope that will be soon. Thank you for watching.